Hello, uh, Internet Lifestyle family. This is Forrest, also known as the Media Dude over here at Media Dude Marketing out in St. Louis. Hey, just want to go over a couple of things with you really quick. want to show you how you can quickly set up some really cool additional uh, Facebook page tabs. You know, notice I'm using my wife's Summer Rain Wickless Candle Facebook page as an example. We just set that up uh, yesterday and just want to go through. I want to show you how to, one, set up these tabs in here. I'm going to go through a couple of things really quick and move these around. When you get a brand new page set up, of course, it's going to ask you to install a header up here. Your header is typically 831 uh, pixels wide, so you can get somebody to custom design that, or if you're uh, pro at paint shop pro or, or photoshop or something like that you can create one for yourself that's not what we're talking about we're going to show you how to set up tabs down here you'll notice when we click on any of these tabs down here what's going to happen it's going to jump right over to her uh, web page so I'm going to actually do a right click because I want it to open uh, in a new window and it'll open in a new window and what happens when you come over to the tab it jumps right to her web page here which is uh, set up as a sort of a redirect when it comes in and it takes her right to the website page so what we want to do is we want to show you how to set those tabs up really quickly let me close this out one of the things when you set these tabs up you'll notice these there's little images in here these images are 111 by 74 so you can either do them yourself with like a paint shop pro or a photo editor or something like that to save these images and the way this works you're going to do the little pull down arrow here and we want to set up what we call we're using static HTML to add these we want to add an additional tab in here so if you notice there's one two and three tabs we want to add a fourth tab using the static HTML so first of all what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your search bar up here and you're gonna search for static HTML you're gonna do a search and it's gonna bring you to a page like this now there's multiple tabs we've already got three tabs installed so we're gonna actually add the fourth tab in here so we did a search in our Facebook uh, search query for static HTML when static HTML came up we came down and found the fourth tab link and we clicked on it we're gonna add static HTML to a page now you can add this to any Facebook page that you want not a personal timeline but an actual Facebook page so you click on static HTML it's gonna bring us here it's gonna say add static HTML fourth tab choose a page so I want to choose a page I'm gonna choose summer rain wickless candles it says it'll show up here again it'll say add static HTML fourth tab I'm gonna do that and it's gonna bring me back to the page I want to scroll down here I'm gonna open this up and you'll notice there's a star right here now I've already created my little image here I'm gonna click on the little pencil icon to edit this I'm gonna scroll down to edit settings this is gonna ask me to do a couple of things one it's gonna ask me to name it so this one I'm gonna call fragrance Did I spell that correctly babe absolutely not because it underlined and the cool thing about Facebook it has a spell correct uh, spell correction so I'm gonna choose this and call this fragrances and I'm gonna hit save now I've named my tab now I need to remove that star so I'm gonna go over to custom tab image and I'm going to change that I've already saved an image on my computer so I'm gonna come here I'm gonna edit this I'm gonna choose my file I'm gonna go to my file tab here again it's 111 by 74 it saved it and I should be at my home page so I'm gonna jump back over here to summer rain really quick hit OK I'm gonna refresh the page so you guys can see this and you'll notice you don't see my tab here so I'm gonna pull it down it's in my second row and you'll notice it popped right in here now if I want to move this tab to somewhere else I can do that I can simply hit the pull down here and I can move the settings. so I'm gonna move it to where my likes is I'm gonna move it one position to the left it moves over here now I need to edit this tab so when somebody clicks on it it goes to the page I want them to so now I've added my image my next step is to actually edit the page so you're gonna see this now the only time you ever see this area up here is when you're actually the administrator of the page any other visitors visitors that come are not going to see this and you can see is you are in admin mode view the tab is in visitor mode instead I don't want to see that right now I just want to edit the tab first because there's nothing in here and with static HTML it gives me quite a few options of course up here you can save and publish or you can preview the tab there's nothing in here you have a content tab you have a fan gate tab we can talk we'll talk about fan gates on the next video right now what I want to do is I want to change my app right here it's static HTML so if you created some HTML for a page or an image or a video or whatever you want to load into you can actually load that right here on this page 
we're not doing HTML right now. We're going to actually load in a page to a website. So we're going to change the app. We're going to come here and have a cool little video that tells you how to do that. It says use static HTML. I want to come down here and I want to click on website. It's going to change it to website. Use website app is the next step. And then I want to get my external URL here. The best URLs that work in here are secure URLs. So I'm going to go to my Sensi website URL. I'm going to copy it. And you guys can't see me doing this because it's up above the video screen here. But I'm going to copy this URL to the page that I want to go into the from that's going to lo load up, which will be this fragrance collections page. So when somebody actually clicks on that tab in Facebook, they're going to end up at this page on my web page. So it's a really cool way to instantly create a Facebook tab inside your Facebook page that directly correlates to your website or your blog or anything else that you want to do. So I'm going to jump back over here to my static HTML app. I'm going to paste that page URL in here. It's going to load up the page here in a second. I want to remove my scroll bars. And you're going to see it's going to take just a second to load up. And it's loaded up my page. Just click stay on page up here. If I scroll down a little bit, you can see there's some scroll bars there, but I can also adjust the width of my page by simply light, sliding these bars. I can make it narrower, or I can make it wider, so I want to slide it out just a smidge so when somebody comes to the page, they can see all my info. And the real cool thing about this page in here when you do these is this is all functional information in here. Any of the stuff that I click on on any one of these tabs is like having an active website inside Facebook. So I can click on this and go directly to this page. I can click on Sensi Man and go directly to that page. I'll give you an example. I'll click there. It's going to take me directly to the page. And um, there we go. It took me directly to the page. I want to stay on the page. It took me right into Sensi Man on the page. I'm all done. I can hit Save and Publish. My page is published. If I want to preview the tab, I can preview the tab here. This will show you the preview version of the page that it's on. And again, I'm back, and this is a fully functional website. And because this is a secure page, what it did is you'll notice I actually jumped away from Facebook and came outside to my website page. Now, if you want to alleviate that jump, you take out the HTTPS that's in the URL and just make it an HTTP, and that's okay. Now, if you have an online shopping cart or an online store, it may not allow you to do that. If you have a standard page or you want to use a subdomain that redirects to a page, you can do that as well. If you have any questions about how to set this up, my name is Forrest, also known as the Media Dude, out here on Facebook and Twitter. Feel free to stop by again. ILM family, I hope this helped you out a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.